Hello everybody, Princess Navarra here, and we're back at Disney Springs to be somewhere with absolutely nobody access for. Yeah, it's just been a long time since we've been here. We um, were almost big three years so. last time. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's, so it's time to paddle some fish again, and hopefully we get something that we can eat. All aboard! You heard the girl. Don't steam your willies. As a pro tip to the she's, they's, and the he's, don't give her an option to share, just share. Mm. It's so tasty, I almost wish it came in a juice box so I could squeeze it. And squeeze the rest of the life out of it. Four and a half out of five plus. This is like a huge piece of asparagus. This isn't like STK level asparagus, but this is a big asparagus. So I'm taking them as one. And I'm chopping it. I'm gonna take the good pot. Season rather well. Still crispy, crunchy. I would say this this is on par with STK asparagus. I would give it four to five asparagus. It appears as a princess went a little uh, off with her head, and yes, I stole that joke from her. Yeah. Still words weird. Either way, uh, I had absolutely no intentions on helping her eat this, but uh, with how big a side of like or appetizer experience they gave her, looks like I don't really have much of a choice. Even for me, what's a lot of asparagus? And I do love. Nice and tender, it still maintains a crunch, but it's not chewy, you're not gonna tire yourself out getting in there. Lightly salted in oil, I can do that. I would say that's above average. Three out of five plus. One of those days. Here we have their Ahi Tuna Poke app with some Ahi Tuna in a metal boat with a Little, like aloe leaf and then season I'm hoping they want on chips. Nope, just regular tortilla chips. Season. I'll get them that. I don't know what I was expecting given that the princess's portion size for her asparagus is so big. This seems kinda of, kind of small. Just because it's that prefix meal. That's true. I got the Magical Dining. I know how you guys love the Magical Dining. It gives me an opportunity to try a little bit of everything, so I'm not complaining. I have two other courses after this. Some tuna, some chopped pickles, it looks like, and uh, avocado. Ooh. It's 
it's got some nice flavors to it. The pickle and avocado are really good together. I would not have foreseen that. I could do it with a little bit more spice, but all in all, it's pretty tasty. It's like tahini on top. We're gonna have out of five plus. Pasta option. This <clears throat> is a vegetarian pasta, but it is indicated as vegan, and I always hate it when they mark a vegan option as vegetarian because it's so confusing. Just say vegan. Vegetarians know what vegans are, and vegetarians know that they can eat that food, so just say vegan. Now, this doesn't have sauce because, you know, not vegan, but look at all of this oil down here. That's gonna be interesting. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a few of these veggies. Oops. I'm just gonna use this side of the bowl since I have no spoon. Ooh. Okay, that's not working either. All right, let me try this again. This is a very poor bite, and I'm just dropping. You guys, I'm totally failing at this. This is this is a fail. Lightly oiled. The pasta is flavorless. The pasta adds no element of anything. I am happy that it um, does not have, or it doesn't taste like salt lick. It's still not good. There's like lots of pieces of garlic in here, which I like garlic, but mmm. Don't come here for this. This is like a one out of five. This is, this is a bad pasta. This is worse than boat houses pasta. I hope this wasn't expensive. That's all I'm saying. It's like a, let's go ahead and give the benefit of the doubt. I'll dig from the bottom here, take some, that is a lot of oil. <laughs> I could, that looks like something you'd see in like a Mario Kart. But like, I never do like the Toro thing because I just spit oil or sauce or whatever else you have in your pasta like everywhere. I'm not very good at that myself. So I feel for the princess's troubles here. Let's uh, give this the old, I want to try, yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, from the oil was a mistake, which is very slimy. With a lot of garlic. There's like garlic and pepper. A lot of garlic, like. Keep vampires away from me, the amount of garlic and pepper and salt and not a whole lot of else. Seasoning wise, this is like something that you would make when you're like two days of paycheck and you have like, that's what I got in the fridge. I'm gonna dump some oil on it, dump some seasoning so that, so that sticks and hey, I've got that asparagus, tomato, and zucchini that's going bad. Let's throw that in there too. Ooh, I have mushrooms and you get kind of creative and you don't really get anywhere. I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, it's, it's, it's an oily mix. One and a half out of five plus. It's just barely edible, but like, not what I would go out dining to. So you just start with the asparagus itself. This is a busy plate. Now, this is their catfish, like pecan, 
crusted with a, a side salad I didn't know what I was getting, and then a, a corn edamame bacon succotash, and like a herb cream sauce. So first let's try the salad, because I don't, I don't know why the salad even exists over here. I'm, I'm slightly curious. It's like cheese and lettuce. And a couple of tomatoes. Corn bacon sucker dash, which I was kind of excited about. I was started eating. Got a nice thick cut bacon in there, huge pieces of edamame, sizable corn. Probably remember if there's dinner over either. Two and a half out of five balls. Now normally, this dirt lettuce. Okay, I would have ordered probably the mahi mahi because I love mahi mahi and any chance I have to get it. But I figured that I would order something that probably most people would think to order here. People like catfish. I'm not a huge fan of fried food, but. Every once in a while, I get a craving. Thank you. I'm gonna try the catfish on its own. The breading's not too thick, it looks nice and flaky. The breading leaves much to be desired. It's a nice, flaky fish, it's cooked. I think it was just breading. Let's try out the sauce. Mm. I feel as if the dressing would have been, the herb dressing would have been better served in the salad after it was washed. Fish. It's like a weaker than powder sauce. I just don't, I'm not feeling it. Uh, I'm glad you can get food for a price. And I'm not paying a huge amount for this, but uh, I'm not really in love with this. As you can tell from my demeanor. Um, I, I hate to say this, but maybe little perhaps. Two and a half out of five plus. So this is a corn and bacon suck corn and edamame bacon succotash. There's two pieces of bacon, one that you guys saw me eat, and this is the second piece in the whole plate. It's like the succotash basically spreads half the plate, and there's two tiny pieces of bacon in the whole thing. That's just sad. you guys more dessert even if it kills me so we got key lime pie it's part of the third course magic dining which is a lot of meringue and other things that my stomach does not like we're gonna see how far I get with this two magic pills 
It looks pretty. Nice little fish plate. It's just a uh, like slow mo commercial. Get you a slice shots. It is definitely key line pie. Consistency is good. The graham cracker at the bottom is like less crusty and more like candied. It's pretty soft on the bottom. I haven't had key lime in a while, but I usually expect the, the uh, key lime crust or the graham cracker crust to be like crisp. Since I don't eat desserts very often, you guys need to correct me. Is it supposed to be crisp? Or is it supposed to be a soft mess? Because it's a soft mess. The flavor is strong. I don't mind it. Even the um, sort of like whipped cream on top. Like a little marshmallow toast to it. I go it's quite low. Um, I'll give it so far in that it is better than my main. But I've had better desserts. Two and a half kind of five plus. Paddlefish show paddlefish. We had two firsts in Princess and the Bear history with mm. this episode, with this video. One, first time we have ever sent back a plate of food. Yeah. Two, first time Bear has ever taken a dessert home. This is true. In a to-go bag. I did take home a cheesecake, even though I know I'm probably not going to be able to handle any more bites because it's way too much lactose You'll for me. probably eat it. But it was decent. I, I give them a cheesecake. It was okay. Not cheesecake, the key lime pie. Now, uh, my mom always said, no, wait, my mama didn't say that. Mama definitely did not say it. If you don't got it, I say don't say it at all. We had, I had two pieces of catfish. I ate a, a third of one. And then lied to the waitress when yeah, I, I, she asked yeah, if he liked it. I, he said yeah, he was, was waiting. <laughs> he, was, he was making room for dessert. Yeah. When she asked me if I liked it, unfortunately I was honest and said I did not. And she asked me why I didn't like it so she could tell the chef. And unfortunately I kind of went down the laundry list until she stopped me and said she'll just go take it off of the bill. Which is I feel like a 100, jerk Yeah, we don't that. like doing that. And uh, really it was 100% not what we were looking for. It's not her fault. But no, it's not. And uh, we did leave a sizable tip because of that. But, yeah. Uh, it, it was just, the pasta was just oily was bad. and garlicky and nothing else. I was thinking of like, oh, maybe I'll take it home and try to like zhuzh it up at no. home. But it was just swimming was in just so much oil. There was no much. saving it. There was no like, saving it. Turn the stomach level oil in the My fish. My stomach is actually really upset right now. The, the fish is like, you guys know how I'm about breading on chicken. Catfish is the same way. If you don't season your breading, it's not going to taste good. It just tastes like fish flesh and toasted bread and it was not enjoyable. Uh, it's been three years since we've been to, to Paddlefish. It's probably gonna be another three or four before we come back again. I don't even think 100 likes on this video get me to come back to this place because I would just laugh at you guys. That's and be a like, low no. bar. It's, it's, it's yeah. a low bar. The, the bar was lower for this food. I've made fun of Boathouse and I'm, I don't leave like feeling like this at Boathouse. I, you know, we have had some pretty like mediocre bottom of the barrel experiences from Boathouse but they are still leaps and bounds better than what we got at Paddlefish. I'm gonna say if you come here, come for the drinks. The drinks, yeah, the, the sangria was decent. Come was for the drinks. Carbonated, but it was decent. Like I'd rather go to Terralino over here and get the sangria because it's Italian. But yeah. you guys know how we are. Sometimes it's a bad night. If you guys think it was a bad night, please give me a reason down in the comments. If there's anything else you think that we should come back to Paddlefish to try. Or anywhere else at Disney Springs, you think we should try it? That's a good place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video, not for the paddlefish, but for the bear suffering through whatever that catfish cutlet was that just seemed like two pieces of bread in between some really bad stale tofu.
I know I should have gotten the mahi. I think I upset the princess. You guys I might have to get the like goal either way. So 100 likes on this video, and we'll do something else terrible that I don't like.